Welcome to the Marvelous Designer in CFX series. For part two, we will be looking at the character's setup. Here is the character with the modeled pieces. The boots were created in Marvelous Designer as well as part of the gloves. Both of these do not need to be simulated, so they are just skin wrapped to the body. Here is a detailed view of the boots garment in Marvelous Designer. Because it is difficult to sim cloth against avatars with many different angle parts, I will use these proxy models to sim against. As you can see, there is a slight gap between the character and the proxy chest and shoulder piece. This is necessary as some of the clothing will fit between the armor and body. Here is the ready to simulate garment in Marvelous Designer. The outer gray torn pieces and main part of the garment fit between the armor and the body. The easiest way to build this is to import the body avatar without the chest proxy and build the garment first. Using negative pressure, the garment can be pulled close to the body. After this, bring in the avatar with the chest proxy. Select the avatar and set the skin offset to 1, reducing the distance needed between garment and avatar. Simulate to make sure it works correctly. If the garments won't settle, you may need to move the proxy a bit. The cuffs at the bottom of the pants could slip over the boot proxy so, as a precaution, pin the edge of the cuff to the avatar. Remember, the entire edge of points can be selected by double-clicking on one point on the edge you want pinned. Attach the pins to the avatar. For the ammo belt and other belts, use a fabric with less bend and buckling and a high friction setting. The edges of the hood also use this fabric to keep the hood open and prevent too much movement. For the tubes, use a strip of cloth with the thickness set to 10 to 15 millimeters. To keep the collar edge and the sleeve edges stiff, use seam taping. Using the segment top stitch tool, add stitches to edges of sleeves and hood. It is recommended that, to test movement and before finalizing this setup, use a test animation to check all aspects of the costume. Once it looks like this will move as desired, we can do the rest of the setup. First, export a PC2 cache of the demo animation to use in 3DS Max or a Maya cache for use in Maya. Make sure it is set to unweld and thin. Export an OBJ as well and call it shaped. Make sure select all patterns is selected and select all graphics and trims is selected. Deselect select all avatars. As with the point cache, Set to Unweld and Thin. Select the entire costume and right-click in the 3D window. Reset 2D arrangement. Export an OBJ again and call this one flat using same settings as before. In 3DS Max, import the shaped and flat costume. Add a morph modifier and pick the flat costume and add a point cache modifier. Load the PC2 cache and name the object MD cloth. With this as the base setup, make a copy and name it MD driver. Add an edit poly modifier to MD cloth and delete the belts, tubes, and hood. Select the MD driver. Add an edit poly modifier and delete the clothing, leaving the belts, tubes, and hood on this one. The main clothing of this character will be the MD cloth object. The MD driver will be used to drive the separated parts which will be different geometry. The new belt, tubes, and hood can now be built right on top of the flattened MD driver. This makes wrapping the new geometry to the MD driver easy. Here is the tubes, hood, 
and belts that the MD driver will control or drive. Wrap this geo to the MD driver. Once this is all set up, all simulations from Marvelous Designer can simply be plugged into the clothing by updating the PC2 cache on the MD driver and MD cloth objects. The same PC2 cache for one shot is used for both parts. Hide the proxy geometry and MD driver. Here is what the finalized character should look like. The bullets were simply wrapped to the belt geo. Though this setup takes some time, now that it is done, simply plug in new PC2 caches from Marvelous Designer for each shot after simulation. This concludes part 2 of this series.